Hey guys, our favorite blue hedgehog is making a comeback on the small screens. It's nearly here. So I recorded this video discussing the latest updates about Sonic 3. Let's discuss the Sonic 3 wrap up after four months of shooting. We will also delve into the post production phase of the movie and what it entails. An extremely intriguing news piece, Sonic 3 might establish the two most significant characters and also an exciting news, Burger King introduces gifts based on the characters. Already? Like, it's not too distant, but also not too close to the movie launch. Is Burger King taking the lead? Is it possible to purchase the toys yet? Leave a comment if you're thrilled and which news intrigued you the most. Comment below and I will take a sip from my coffee and then we will get started. Sonic 3 wraps up filming after four months on set. Good news from the Blue Hedgehog, folks. Filming on Sonic 3 has already wrapped. The production is slated to premiere in December. What a Christmas present. To start, you already know. Comment below if you think Sonic 3 will surpass the success of its predecessors and which character you're most excited to see again or meet for the first time. The star of the franchise, James Marsden, was the one to share the good news. According to Marsden, the former Cyclops, he said they just finished filming Sonic 3. They were actually close to the set of Deadpool. Check it out. Hmm, will he come back as Cyclops? Is everyone from Fox coming back? Was it a hint? Comment below. Sonic 2's plot introduced Knuckles and Tails to the cinematic universe while Shadow only appeared in the post credits scene. And what about Shadow? Who will play him? What year, Reeves? We've already reported the news here. Recently, the franchise even secured a spin-off series, which was the Knuckles series. Sonic 2 hit theaters in 2022 and earned over $400 million at the box office around the world. Sonic 3, on the other hand, premieres on December 20th, 2024. We're living in the best moment of cinema for games, which was always complicated. With the filming of Sonic 3 finished, the film enters post-production. Now the feature is in the post-production phase where the visual effects and other necessary adjustments are being worked on to finish the film. This process should still take several months, but I want to know your opinion. Were you there when you had the ugly Sonic phenomenon? When they showed that grotesque Sonic and then the fans, the strength of the fans made them go back to zero, delete the ugly Sonic? In fact, they didn't delete it because he appeared in Disney's Tic Tac movie. But anyway, they deleted him and put it in, redid Sonic's animation. Were you there? Comment below. For now, the studio has released few details about the upcoming Uro and Swazu film. However, it's already known that characters like Knuckles and Tails are back in the new narrative, as well as Dr. Robotnik, played by the beloved Jim Carrey. The actor had surprised his fans by announcing his retirement in 2022. The news that the star would step away from the big blockbusters dropped like a bomb in Hollywood, but he seems to have changed his mind, as in February, Carrey was confirmed to be back. Maybe he doesn't do new characters anymore, but maybe he's already signed on. It was already in his contract that he would finish the trilogy with Sonic. In addition to the return of the villain, as hinted at in the post credit scene of the previous film, Shadow, one of the most beloved characters in gaming, will also debut in the Sonic 3 franchise. Sonic 3 has the difficult task of matching the success of its two predecessors. That's mainly because Sonic 2, which boasts the second highest grossing video game adaptation film in history, is second only to the gigantic Super Mario Brothers. Where's the Super Mario Sonic movie, huh? Oh, there's a video game, right? What's up? The film that made history last year is the second highest grossing film of 2023. So Mario, right? He's the biggest animation and he made the second biggest. Lost to whom? To Barbie. Doll movie. Take a look. A bit of importance is about the series derived from the Sonic universe. The third movie in the franchise will be a direct continuation of the Knuckles series. 
which will have the British actor Idris Elba playing the main role. By the way, the Paramount Plus production premiered on April 26th in the United States and April 27th in other, in other, in the rest of the planet, right? In other countries. Set Knuckles alongside Deputy Sheriff Wade Whipple battling a criminal group that uses Dr. Robotnik's tech in their crimes. Robotnik in their criminal activities. Altogether, the series had six episodes that were released at the same time. With all that in mind, it's obvious that the third Sonic movie has got what it takes to do really well. Now that filming's over and post-production is in full swing, we can expect an exciting adventure even more exciting with the return of favorites like Knuckles and Tails and the surprising comeback of Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik. Adding Shadow will bring a new level of action and depth to the story. In addition, the Knuckles spin-off with Idris Elba will bring new depth to the Sonic universe. Now we want to hear your thoughts. What are you looking forward to most in Sonic 3? Do you think the Knuckles series lived up to expectations? Leave your comments below and let's continue this conversation. If you find this news interesting, share this video too. How can Sonic 3 introduce the two biggest missing Sonic characters? That is new characters. A theory on which characters might show up in Sonic 3 sets up for a missing team member from the games whose unexpected appearance could create the perfect Sonic 4. We're already thinking about Sonic 4. The upcoming Sonic 3 will introduce Shadow into the movie universe with focus on the threat he poses to Sonic and his friends. During the post credit scene of Sonic 2, it was hinted that the sequel will be inspired by the video game Sonic Adventure 2, where the ultimate life form was first introduced. This was later confirmed by producer Toby Asher. To begin with, you already know, comment below if you think Amy Rose should show up in Sonic 3 or if you prefer to see another surprise in the post credit scene. We want to know your opinion. Comment and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I always forget to ask. This project is growing, so I bring you more videos. Let's go. However, not all of the characters that appear in Sonic Adventure 2 have been introduced in the film franchise yet. While Shadow is the most important newcomer due to his prominent role in the game, the characters Rode, the Bat, and Amy Rose have yet to be confirmed for the film. Amy in particular comes as a surprise, as she is one of the first characters created for the video game franchise. Although the ending of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 didn't hint at its future arrival, it would be a mistake if she didn't appear in the near future. While anything could happen in the post credit scene of Sonic 3, Amy's introduction would be the perfect transition to the upcoming adventure. Instead of appearing during the film proper, her debut could be saved for the film's post credit scene. Even if this excluded her from Shadow's story in the film universe, it would give her a place in the movie and explain why she hasn't been confirmed yet. This could also pave the way for an adaptation of the game where she made her debut. By appearing in the post credit scene of Sonic 3, Amy would become an even more significant part of the story than if she appeared in the main movie competing for prominence with other characters. Amy first appeared in the 1993 Sonic CD game which focuses on Robotnik using artifacts called Time Stones to implement his latest scheme. Which video game did I have? It was Sega CD, wasn't it? It wasn't even Sega Saturn, it was after that. Sega CD, I remember. The game also introduced Metal Sonic to the franchise, Sonic's robotic rival and one of his classic antagonists. Given the importance that the game's concepts have acquired in the Sonic universe, it wouldn't be surprising for the films to mirror this with the introduction of Amy. Amy would have to be introduced along with Robotic Sonic. And since we already have the villainous Shadow, I think that's plenty for a Sonic 4. Instead of being a part of Shadow's story, it's possible then not to share the spotlight or else the film could be six hours long or could become too generic or would go by too quick and wouldn't develop the characters well. 
I think Sonic 1 was about Robotnik, Sonic 2 was a bit about Robotnik, but mostly Knuckles, Sonic 3 was about Shadow, and Sonic 4, Metal Sonic. Do you agree with me? Leave a comment below. If Amy's debut coincides with an adaptation of Sonic CD, Sonic 4 could more easily position her as a new hero on the team. This would give her enough time to bond with the group like her little crush on Sonic, while also being a direct force against the new threat they face. Her appearance could also offer a stable foundation for Metal Sonic's debut, giving her a more active role in the story when adapted for the big screen. In addition to his appearance, Sonic 4 could establish that Metal Sonic would come from the pen still in Dr. Robotnik's possession. Robotnik. This would make the metallic version of the franchise's namesake even more menacing, perhaps requiring Amy's help to defeat him. By appearing in the post credit scene of Sonic 3, Amy would become an even more important part than if she appeared in the film proper. While it's still possible for Amy to appear during the events of Sonic 3, it's perhaps more fitting for her to appear in the post credit scene. Given everything we've discussed here, it's impossible not to be excited about the possibilities for Sonic 3. The introduction of Shadow is already a big draw, in addition to having Keanu Reeves as his voice, but the inclusion of Amy Rose in the post credit scene can really raise the level of the narrative. Not only would this set the stage for Sonic 4, but it would also bring some much needed freshness to the franchise by exploring new dynamics and iconic characters from the games. Imagine the thrill of seeing Amy and Metal Sonic on the big screen, further expanding this universe that we love so much. I want to know your opinion. Leave your opinions in the comments and let's continue this amazing conversation. Who else would you like to see in the upcoming films? And if you find the news interesting, like it, share it and subscribe. Now, the exciting news. Burger King is launching gifts from the Sonic 3 universe. The Sonic franchise is the theme of Burger King's new toy collection. The tiny figurines of the characters in the series can be bought by purchasing the King Jr. combo. That is, it's available now. The other day I was at the mall buying a ticket for Inside Out 2 and I ended up having a King Jr. combo to start with, you know, you know, just to start. Comment down below if you're already craving a Sonic toy from the new Burger King collection and if you're keen to start collecting. Shall we check out the images? They're here, let's go. Look, Shadow has already made an appearance here. Where's Keanu Reeves next door? I could put Keanu Reeves on the side. A Burger King Keanu Reeves doll is coming up. That's cool, right? Then we have Knuckles. This is my opinion now. Put it there, guys. Burger King toys are much better. Much better than McDonald's. They're made much better. They're bigger. McDonald's toys are usually pretty tiny. They're like Kinder Eggs. You can tell the quality is a bit poor. I can't recall if Sonic 2 was from McDonald's. I think it was because I remember the toys being terrible. But these look larger, nicer, and have more details. I remember even collecting the Justice League ones from Burger King. They were really good. I had them in my other studio. Let's continue here. Dr. Eggman, there are rumors that in this movie, Sonic 3, we'll see a chubby Eggman. Jim Carrey, I don't know if he's going to gain weight or if it'll be CGI because with his age, I'm not sure whether... Only those actors who can quickly gain and lose weight can do that. I think at his age, it would be a bit complicated. It'll probably be CGI, but they're saying he's going to put on some weight. Then we have some spoilers here. Will Amy show up? We've already discussed if she'll appear in the movie or if she'll show up in the post credit scene, setting up a Sonic 4 with Metal Sonic. But it's already been spoiled. And my question is as follows. If the film will premiere in December, it's already happening now, in June. This happens a lot because when the film is delayed, there's already a closed contract with Burger King, McDonald's, and everything else. And it already has a schedule. Why? Because next month, there's already another toy collection. So they have to follow the contract. And following the contract, the Sonic movie was probably supposed to come out in June. I don't remember the exact date, but I remember that it was delayed. So we've already gotten a spoiler here. 
It doesn't mean that it's not 100% certain, but it's 90% certain. We have Tails here. Check it out. How cool. Very good. And obviously, we have Sonic in a tank top working out. Do you guys think that's a spoiler? Do you think that Sonic at some point needs to take care of his health and he's going to work out? Could it be because of Amy here, who's kind of a romantic interest, those things there, right? Do you think he's going to work out to get closer to Amy? Tails will make fun of him and he'll say, no, I'm not working out because of that. And then we're going to see what? Knuckles working out. Knuckles is strong. And then Knuckles will probably take Sonic to the gym and he'll lift a lot of weight and Sonic will give in to that. He'll be weak there. It's going to be a very, very funny scene. Remember, Sonic 2 hit theaters in 2022 and earned more than $400 million at the box office around the world. And Sonic 3 premieres on December 20th, 2024. So did you like the news? Are you going to eat at Burger King to collect? You're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six. You'll have to eat six combos or take your family to eat everything right away. Remember, I'm here two to three times a day. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. This channel will not grow without your help. So subscribe, hit the like button, and also share the video with those who like Sonic. Sounds good? See you guys in the next video.